trade here, trade there. So many folk are scurrying about. A trader? I suppose you could say that. A trader of sorts. Just take a look at all those shiny things coming in the markets. Sad day when my legs stopped working quite so well. Haven't made it down to the lower level in some time. Say, I heard from some other folks that you're one of the most helpful people in Eastshade. Do you have time to help an old woman? Excellent, excellent. You and I, young friend. I can tell we're going to make a fine pair. Been a long time since I had a partner of any sort. Oh, I feel ten years younger. I'm embarrassed to admit. I left a precious box up north in the caverns. You know, the howling caverns on the Tiefmoor Bluffs? I must have left it there. It was years ago, mind you, that I left it behind. Longer, actually. I was still a young girl. Spent time playing all over Eastshade. That box was one of my favorite possessions, passed down from my mother. It has some decoration, you know. Not too much. It's a rather simple wooden box, I think. A new face. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Zara, assistant research scientist here at the university. Do you know of Melik? He's the merchant selling the so-called elixir of life down in the market. I have a favor to ask of you. Do you think you could perhaps go to Melik's shop in the market and buy me one of said elixirs? I'll buy it from you at twice what it's worth. Fantastic. You can find me here just about any time. I'm always working. <sighs> They're a group that highly appreciates the consumption of dream teas. The teas are made with herbs that stimulate dreams. It's quite interesting how the chemicals work on the brain. They are safe in moderation, the largest risk being that when sleeping with dream teas... One gets very little rest, since the brain is actually more stimulated than during the day. The latest science actually considers it a form of exercise for your brain. Sorry, you can't go up there right now. We're doing some renovations. <sighs> Hard to say. Maybe in ten months, give or take? Could be longer if we hit any delays.
Well, you need a pass. Any official from the university should be able to give you one. Well, you need a pass. Any official from the university should be able to give you one. Have a good one. So, sounds like you've managed to impress the great Yevany. I thought you might. Your work is excellent and just the style our clients are looking for. We've got a whole bunch of commissions just waiting around. We keep them all in the ledger at the back. Take a look and see if you're up for any of them. When you finish a commission, just bring it back to me. I'll ensure you get paid and that the client gets the artwork. We're glad to have you join the gallery.
Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. People, so tacky. They're so very sad. I've always wanted to live in one of those. They can get cold though. That stuff doesn't insulate very well. Not bad. Welcome, friend. Would you like a guaranteed long and healthy life? My elixir will fortify you with the strength and vigor. Imagine a longer life for you and your loved ones. Sourced from hot springs around the island, this water is guaranteed to give you an extra 20 years, at least. The water is sourced from the life-giving springs of East Shade. Interested in a book? What crunchy scales. Scrumptious raw fish? I can't wait until dinner time! Well, well, well. Your clothes are looking a little scrappy. Bet you're just about to freeze to death come nightfall. If you're ever looking to upgrade your attire, I'm sure I have just the thing.
A fine day for science. Did you by chance pick me up one of those elixirs from the market? Wonderful. Now I can run some tests. Why don't you come back in about an hour, and I'll fill you in on my findings. They're a group that highly appreciates the consumption of dream teas. The teas are made with herbs that stimulate dreams. It's quite interesting how the chemicals work on the brain. They are safe in moderation, the largest risk being that when sleeping with dream teas, one gets very little rest, since the brain is actually more stimulated than during the day. The latest science actually considers it a form of exercise for your brain. I know it's a spectacular view. Beyond that, though, is there any reason specifically you need to be up there? I see. Well, I'll tell you what. Help me with discovering the truth about Melek's elixir, and I'll get you a pass. Like I said, help me with discovering the truth about Melek's elixir, and I'll be sure to get a pass for you. I do love working here in the university, even though my senior professor Esma can be a bit... eccentric at times. The tests are running now and should be done soon. Come back in a bit and we'll go over the results. It's going to be another late night, that's for sure. The tests are running now and should be done soon. Come back in a bit and we'll go over the results. A fine day for science! The tests are running now and should be done soon. Come back in a bit and we'll go over the results. I do love working here in the university, even though my senior professor Esma can be a bit... eccentric at times. The tests are running now and should be done soon. Come back in a bit and we'll go over the results. It's going to be another late night, that's for sure. The tests are running now and should be done soon. Come back in a bit and we'll go over the results. A fine day for science. The tests are running now and should be done soon. Come back in a bit and we'll go over the results.
I do love working here in the university, even though my senior professor Esma can be a bit... eccentric at times. The tests are running now and should be done soon. Come back in a bit and we'll go over the results. It's going to be another late night, that's for sure. Well, I've run some tests. Unfortunately, my findings are... inconclusive. The solution seems to be mixed with so many things I can't get a clear reading of its composition. I've been thinking. Melek claims the life-giving ingredient in his potions is water from the local hot springs. I know it's a big ask, but I'm wondering if you're interested in collecting water samples from each of the five hot springs of Eastshade. Then we can really answer this question once and for all. No more tricks, no more overpriced traps. What do you say? Fantastic! Take these empty vials. The collection should be fairly straightforward. Finding the five hot springs will be the hard part. They're in all corners of the island, and some are rather tucked away. Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. I used to live on the mainland years ago, working as a bricklayer. Was terrible. Hated every minute. Then my grandma died, bless her soul, and left me a sum. Quit my job that day and got the first ship here, for no reason in particular. Just wanted to leave. Bought this dumpy floor for dirt cheap. Didn't really know what I was doing. Now this city's a boom town, and I'm living off the reverse mortgage. Just goes to show, act impulsively, and sometimes you get rich. That's what I've learned anyway. Oh, and have some inheritance. It's kind of like a club. People go under the city to drink dream teas, relax, unwind. It used to be open for everyone, but it's pretty locked down now. Some folks have been trying to destroy or steal their tea plants, so they had to get real protective. There was a dream party out on the Salt Spring coast a few nights ago. Who knows? Maybe you can make the right connections and get a chance to try some.
Mm, correct. That is the name. We once had another name. But everyone just called us that inn below the tarnished teapot. I don't really blame them. This place is a bit of a dump. The manager has really let it go. Me. It's cold and damp. Tiny windows. Smells a little stale. At least the front door's nice and big. That's a plus, I suppose. Uh, sounds hard. You sure? We have rats. Oh. Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. You sure? We have rats. If you really want, first door on your left. Oh. One day, a man ambled up the path and knocked upon the door. You must be the wise witch flower, curer of all ills. He looked around the hut with a sneer. People cross the world for your cures, and yet you live in this terrible shack. Surely folks pay dearly for the chance to continue breathing. But Flara was not one for glowstones and she quite liked her home. She only stiffened and asked what his ailment was. So, he told her of the terrible pains and aches he suffered, horrible scratching in his toenails, in each strand of hair, and in his tear ducts. Art was a torture like none other, but he'd heard of the cure, only to be found in the swamp near her home. The only way to ease his pain? The heart root. Well, in all her years of saving lives, Flera had never heard of such a root. But the bog wasn't so treacherous, and she had gone in many times for lesser cures. So, she agreed to find the heart root, and the man agreed to wait in her hut. Flera trudged through the swamp, thick with slime and the stinking air heavy with rot. When she came to a clearing of black clay, she thrust her hands into the wet muck. But alas! Thank you. 
What can I brew you up? Well, looky doo we've got a fresh face. I haven't seen you in the city before, and I like to think I know just about everyone around here. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Osha. Some people around here call me the one glowstone guy because I'll buy anything for one glowstone. Any item under the sun and moon. Did I mention some people call me One Glowstone Guy? Well, I've got two nicknames around here. The other thing people call me is 500 Glowstone Guy. I only ever have one item for sale at a time, and I only sell anything for one price. Guess how much? 500 Glowstones. Sealant. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 glowstones. Hmm. There's only one thing I want that I can't seem to get, but I'm not sure you can help. I want to get into that fancy club, The Roots. They're such exclusive little buggers. I need the password to get in. No idea who to talk to about that. Get me that password, and I'll give you the sealant. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 glowstones. Hmm. There's only one thing I want that I can't seem to get. But I'm not sure you can help. I want get me that. Well, hello there. Such a great day, isn't it? Ah, I just love days like this. Last night, I saw two shooting stars, and right then, I knew today was going to be a fine one. Ah, you're an artist? Oh, you must be very skilled. 
I can barely draw a straight line in the mud. <laughs> if you're feeling especially energetic, we could always use a hand in the fields. We've got a lot of work down on the pea terraces. It can be draining, but I like to read in my free time. A nice book of poetry always boosts my spirits. What? Are you serious? Okay, well, I bought some, but I definitely didn't eat them. I'd never make that kind of mistake. I, uh, I just don't have them anymore. Threw them away. <laughs> I, mm, I need to go now. Ah, the secretive underground tea drinking society. I've had a few cups of dream tea in my day, but things have changed since then. Now it's all locked doors and passwords. figure anything out? Oh god, did she tell you what she thinks of me? Really? <laughs> I'm dying. Tell me what she said. Where is her favorite place? Really? Wow. I'd heard about it, but I didn't think it was real. That sounds like the perfect magical place. Okay, I'm going to start making plans. Thank you so much. I'm so nervous. But this is going to be amazing. Wish me luck. Did you get them back? Oh dear. I can't believe this. All my days as a vendor are over. I just know it. Thank you for going out there. You can keep these tubers, just don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs>